Are you a good storyteller or are you a good narrator? Hi, my name is Ram and I am your business analyst Pandit. In today's quick presentation, let us understand what is a user story and why it is important to define user story in agile methodology. Well, a user story is a descriptive form of large piece of epic in agile. It is an accuracy of expression which is written in a very short crisp and precise format defining who, what and why situation. User story is a de facto standard used in modern agile methodology such as scrum and kanban models. The user story is defined by the business analyst to showcase the accuracy of expression in a cognitive way which will eventually help the developers to code the scenario at ease. In today's quick episode, let us understand how to define user story for real-time business requirement. Before going into the business requirement, let us first understand who is an user in Agile. Well, a user is a person who consumes a product or who employs the product. Meaning, user could be an admin user, end user, delivery user, partner user. A user is someone who interacts with the system is defined as a user. Now let us see what is a persona in Agile. Persona defines the characteristic trait of the user, meaning in what way the user would consume the web app or the mobile app that defines the persona of the user. For example, consider a startup firm who is developing a food ordering and delivery app. The business analyst should consider writing user stories for three different users, keeping in mind with various personas for the users, where the end user's persona would be to order or cancel food using the food ordering app. The delivery agent is another user whose persona would be to deliver the food to the end user. The partner user or the restaurant admin is another persona who consumes the food delivery app to publish, add or remove the list of food that is available in the restaurant. Now let's see what is a user story in Agile. A user story is a tale of events which is described using users and their action or activity. Now let me share you an analogy. In Mahabharata, Arjuna is a user whose persona is he is an archer. His action and activity in the user story was to fight against evil. In Ramayana, Lord Rama is a user whose persona is he is the king of Ayodhya, husband of goddess Sita. His action and activity in the story was to spread love and prevail justice. In biblical epic, Jesus is a user whose persona is his he shares compassion. His action and activity in the story was to spread love and show mercy and empathy. In Islam, Prophet Muhammad is again a user whose persona is he is a founder of Islam. His action and activity in the story was to spread love and show mercy and share empathy. Now coming back to our mobile application example, what the delivery agent, end user and the partner user does with their respective food ordering and delivering app and the set of activities and events are called the user story. Now that we have seen who is a user, what is a user story and what is a persona. Now let us see how to write a user story. To write a user story, the business analyst must follow certain rules. The first rule is write your user story in a very simple English so that your developer can understand your story. The next rule is write your user story in an active voice. Do not write your user story in passive voice. Make sure that who is your target persona is. Example, the person could be an admin user or an end user. He could be a customer user or he could be a delivery or vendor user. He could also be a partner user. He could be a trainer or he could be a student. So the persona defines the characteristic trait and the business analyst should focus to write the user based on the scope of your project. The next is understand what action your user will do with your application. And the last rule is to understand what activity you want your user to do with your application. We have seen how to write a user story. Now let us understand how to write a user story. The formula to write a user story is as a user, this statement determines who your persona is. I want to. This statement determines what the persona would like to achieve so that and this statement determines why the persona would like to achieve. I have come up with a real-time business requirement and let's see the real-time customer's requirement. 
The customer is expecting us to design an edutech web app where the trainer should be able to conduct virtual classroom training. The trainer should be able to provide meeting invite to students. Students should be able to see the notification and select the option to approve, reject and provide a reason to reschedule the meeting invite. In the interest of time, I have taken one of the business requirement and wrote a list of user stories for you to showcase for this presentation. The user story revolves around the trainer's activity within the system or the web app. The presentation does not share information of how to divide scope into epics. I will share it in my presentation, later presentation for how to define an epic. Now coming back to the user story, I have written five user stories for one of the requirements. The first user story is, as a trainer, I want to browse the URL of the edutech web app so that I can view the edutech website. The second user story is, as a trainer, I want to click the register button of the edutech web app so that I can create my user account. The third user story is, as a trainer, I want to click the login button of the edutech web app so that I can provide my username and password. The fourth user story is, as a trainer, I want to click the calendar tab so that I can see the calendar containing the current year, month and days. As a trainer, I want to click on a specific date for a time so that I can create a meeting invite for the selected time. Now writing a user story is simple but we need to also provide the necessary acceptance criteria. The acceptance criteria will help the developers to understand how to develop or code the particular module. In the interest of time, I took one of the user stories and wrote the necessary acceptance criteria. So the acceptance criteria to for the trainer to register his account is the trainer should be able to provide the first name, last name, mobile number, email ID, password, confirm password, address, country name, state name, city name, zip code. All this information need to be documented by the business analyst which he elicits from the customer team or the strategy team. The next acceptance criteria for the particular module is the trainer clicks the create button. The system should send an email verification link via mail to the trainer. The trainer should verify the email ID so that the trainer is now a verified user of the EduTech web app. The app should not accept alphanumeric value in the zip code field. If the trainer does not verify his email or the account, the trainer should not be able to log into his email ID. The purpose of this presentation demo is to share an awareness of how to write an effective user story for a project which will be delivered in Agile. If you think my channel and the content interests you, I kindly request you to please subscribe and share your support. A subscription support will motivate me to contribute more for the aspiring candidates.